I'm not going with this title here. I'm not for one minute suggesting that we shouldn't aim to be a specialist at all. Um, and the, for the next sort of half an hour or so, I'm going to kind of share a little bit about um, football, uh, a little bit about other sports, or particularly one sport that I'm kind of involved in at the moment. Keep your mind open on that one, and. Um, <clears throat> maybe just share some ref reflections over the last few years and obviously you know data-driven interventions for us and, and this gives you something that um, you guys published in 2016 uh, and how we're kind of prioritizing the different areas of, of what we're doing and as a specialist you know we, we become used to having specialists you know some of you are in, in academies cat one academies for example where you you have to employ a number of specialists um, so we have got these, you know, we've got people like mathematical modelling now in, in, in clubs. The, these mathematicians are not football people at all, they're here to create models. So as I've, I suppose in my career as I've come um, to this, kind of from that, heart rate monitor stuff, um, to, to this and understanding and trying to understand and realising how much I don't understand when some of these very clever people are involved. I've kind of gone, not, not back a step, but I've kind of look at um, you know what is the bigger picture of sport, and that really brings me onto the theme theme for tonight. Some of you are going into, are doing, or have done um, uh, internships, work experience, work placements, those kinds of things. And I think again, gaining that broader experience across the football industry and across the club is again really really valuable. 